If a bear goes insane in the middle of a forest and no one's around to hear it, does a bear still shit in the woods? Let's find out. My name is Bear. Hello and welcome back to Don't Starve with Bear. My name is Bear. It's time for Bear to be a bear and he's gonna be a bear by killing some turkeys. Hopefully getting some food from him. Because I am uh, running low on my supply, if I recall correctly. Yes, I have no meatballs left. I have not really uh, done much good of harvesting and uh, everything else is just kind of going to hell. But we're alive! After uh, after last night's frightening experience, I am surprised that we made it back in one piece and I still have my life-giving amulet, which is good. But uh, that was a very close brush with death, and now I've got to make sure I do my best to uh, avoid that happening again. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually cook up a fistful of jam right here, make good use of my uh, remaining stuffs in my inventory. And I should probably check out anything else I could possibly utilize. I've got a bunch of other crap that I don't need, <laughs> and that's pretty much the story here. I've got chests full of junk. I've got a bunny in there, actually, that I think I was going to use to make some rabbit ear muffs, but we got two winter hats anyway, so I don't really need that. I'm going to try to combine as many stacks as I can as well, and then, uh... No, no, man, it's pretty much just a matter of figuring out what I can do to best improve my odds of success. Uh, my sanity level is actually kind of going up right now, which is nice. It's uh, more than likely due to the fact that I'm here in my safe place, here where I can finally relax, take a moment to myself, and think about what has gone wrong this entire time. We are on day 46, which is pretty freaking incredible considering my uh, previous best was something like, you know, like the, the middle of the dead harshness of winter. And I believe we've made it through it. I don't know whether or not winter will make its return. It's, uh, it's ugly, uh, final season rendezvous with our terrible little bear character here. He's not a terrible character. I'm just terrible at playing this character. That's more along the lines of what the truth is. And all I'm interested in telling you is the truth. As you are so aware. Not much grass in my, uh, okay, I'm actually, uh, allowing myself the opportunity to build a few more things. I think I want to go try to dig up some more grave sites, but I'm also pretty sure that what I need to focus on for a little while here, at least, is, uh, to build a few more traps, even. Go and see if I can put those traps down over by the bunny resources over here, because this, I believe, is a pretty renewable resource. We continually collect bunnies from this area, but uh, it's uh, not looking like I'm going to run out of those at any time in the near future. So I'm going to go ahead and build, build up a couple more of these traps and uh, be able to utilize these resources continuously throughout our stay in this short area of, uh, you know, bunny bunny haven. This is the uh, the bunny ranch over here, pretty much. Some seeds are good as well, of course, I did have the intention of making another improved farm or even utilizing the farms that we found up in the, uh, you know, the northeastern part over here, which could be useful, but it might not be entirely necessary. Of course, we do have the one farm that we've got on our mainland right here, and I've got some rot to fertilize it with, so that's all well and good. I might just take this rabbit out of here. I think we're going to be okay as far as my uh, supply of, you know warm stuff is considered. I don't think I'm going to be worried about that anymore. I, it wasn't really a huge deal in the first place. I think I had plenty of, um, plenty of warmth. It, it, it wasn't ever really life-threatening like it has been quite a bit recently. Uh, I have no idea where I just got this log from. What is this thing? That's just a log. Okay, it's just, uh, just an extra log that came out of nowhere. Did I just harvest that from the berry bush? That seems very peculiar to me. Nonetheless, I think Chester might have a stack of logs inside his mouth, so let's find out. Uh, he is empty! Wait a minute, Chester was dead, wasn't he? I think I lost Chester. That means he just resurrected. Which is good. Very good, of course, which means I can, uh, fill him up with goodies again. And now I'm at, a uh, good old-fashioned full strength one more time. Let's cook up another set of meatballs here. Seems like a decent idea to me. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Got that. There we are. There we are. And uh, let's fill up Chester one more time, shall we? We've got a bunch of stuff I could put in his little mouth. Uh, let's store away the foot. No, I should probably keep that in my inventory. Let's put the azure feathers. I think there's a chest full of these already. Where is the? Uh, where are the azure feathers? There they are. The fissures. Azure fissures. Uh, petals. Cut reeds. Blah 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 blah. I already have an axe, I believe. Uh, unless I'm lying, and I frequently do. Uh, silk is somewhere as well. I think I've got silk inside of one of these chests. I've really got to do a much better job of resource management, man. Like, that's gonna be... That's gonna be priority numero uno, I think, for this uh, particular evening, is I gotta make sure I'm uh, doing my best to keep track of everything I've got available to me, and, uh, oh, here's that luxury axe that's nearly dead, actually, so I might as well use that. 
normal axe for now. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and chop down some trees while I'm out, out here with the, uh, with the evening time available to me, and maybe even find myself face-to-face -face with the one and only evergreen monster. Because I think I, uh, I'm overdue for another terrible thing happening. I've had a lot of good karma throughout the course of these past 45, 46 days. It's, it's been going fairly well. We found just about everything we could possibly want to survive. We had that miracle of a beefalo hat out in the middle of nowhere, which basically saved my life. Now that I'm talking about the ability of uh, my camp to provide for warmth, it was really, you know, just the random RNG chance, the random random number generator chance. I don't know if you've uh, become familiar with that. It's the it's the new meta. It's, it's randomizing randomization. It's... Uh, People tell you you can't get true random, but that's only because they're not trying to randomize the randomization. It's very obvious once you think about it a little bit more. Oh god, oh god, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, oh my goodness, alright. <laughs> I get to talking about stuff like that and I totally forget the fact that, hey, hold on a second buddy, you need to, uh, you need to prepare for the nightfall. Uh, I'm a dummy, alright, unequip that, I'm gonna save these meatballs in the icebox. And let's, uh, let's get one more morsel from somewhere. You know what, I might actually want to sleep through this night, too, so let's go ahead and do that. And of course, we're going to have to eat these meatballs as soon as we wake up, but sanity is going really up. Re that, that sentence was questionable. <laughs> what the hell did you just eat? Mr. P? More like Mr. Pig. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that, about that sentence I just said. Oh my god, let's make some more meatballs. That's gonna be good. I have those uh, in my inventory, actually, because I'm probably gonna go venture out into the wilderness here. I uh, was wanting to use the rest of this axe here to be able to uh, get rid of that space in my inventory, so that's gonna be more than effective. I might just want to use the rest of this luxury axe here as well, build a new one with the plenty of gold nuggets that I've got in my inventory as well, and then we'll probably be able to uh, make better use of our space in that regard. I don't know if I really want to pick up a bunch of these pine cones. I'll probably dig up these logs and use my uh, shovel that way. I mean, I'm using my uh, resources, I'm using my tools in order to uh, free up space to build new fresh ones, which I think is, you know, it's a decent enough idea. I think that'll be the best way I can possibly um, both take care of my inventory problem and gather resources in the process. Let's go ahead and do that now. Dig up all these nasty stumps. I've got corn, which is delicious, and a bunch of pine cones, so I could probably just go ahead and replant a new forest, and I'm thinking I might want to place it a little bit further away from my actual campsite this time. I'm worried about the fact I saw those fire hounds earlier, and I'm pretty sure those guys are going to be showing up in increasing frequency, which means if I happen to be around my campsite at the time, of course, I don't want them exploding and lighting just about everything I have and hold near and dear ablaze. So we should probably avoid that possibility entirely, and uh, instead focus on uh, getting these forest resources further away from the campsite and uh, still, you know, pretty easily accessible. Uh, of course, there is still the issue of these berry bushes and grass and twigs being around, so maybe I should just go ahead and avoid having the hounds by my campsite altogether. That might provide me more, uh, more of a safety net than just building one big old resource farm outside of the immediacy of the uh, area, but we'll have to look at that later because for now, I think I'm actually going to go uh, look for some more cam or, uh, not campsites, but graveyards to dig up and uh, see whether or not we can possibly get a few more, perhaps nightmare fuel, some of those crazy things, some of those weird, wacky nonsense items that allow us to uh, progress further into the, the layer of madness, like some melty marbles, for example, and some uh, other grave sites that probably contain some ghosts or something. Ooh, a red gem. That's fantastic. I really like getting those. Blue gems would be awesome as well. There are quite a few more over here, actually. I was pretty much just looking for tombstones when I came over. This is way before... Oh, God. All right. I don't even want to toy with the idea of dealing with that guy, but I will dig up this other grave site right here. I, I don't want him to attack me even once for fear of it being like an insta-kill kind of deal. Alright, there's a there's another Gord's Knot which we can use to get some more gold. Uh, insanity is just starting to plummet, man. I don't like that one bit. I think I might just run away for a little while. Uh, we'll call that good. Jeez. Oh, man. So I should make another trek over to the Big King. That sounds like a decent enough idea. I am not really sure what I'm looking for up in this direction. Uh, I'm tempted to see whether or not I can be hurt by those things again. I think you got to be at a 
really, really startlingly low level of insanity to be actually injured by those uh, figments of your imagination, which is kind of a freaky uh, concept when you think about it. That you, you become so insane that you're actually becoming injured by creations of your own mind. That is nuts. What is this here now? Oh yes, the uh, the big old elephant thing. Maybe that you know what that seems like a worthwhile pursuit. I've got my football helmet still kind of intact. I could probably build a log suit with all the stuff I've got. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and have a look at that. See what we need. Two ropes. Oh, I am hungry as well. Maybe I should go back to camp real quick. So I can go back to camp. I can build myself a log suit. Uh, maybe even get another morsel or something from out of here and uh, be able to build a bit more into my. Uh, goods of food, my preservation of myself by way of eating such stuff. Now let's get some berries first and foremost. I think I just broke my shovel, which kind of sucks. Uh, we'll plant another berry bush over here by the campsite. Nope, there we go. Caught another rabbit. Very good. Caught two rabbits. Three rabbits. Oh, four rabbits. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, the Count Hunt combo. That is, uh, or uh, the Count Hunter. The, the Counter. The, the Hunt the Hounter. There it is. The Hounter. That should be the new Sesame Street character. That is, uh... That's good to teach the kids early on that hunting is the only way to survive when you're, uh, living in prehistoric ages. If you happen to travel through a time machine, children, always remember the three most important rules of survival. Kill the most innocent and cute adorable creatures you can find, plant some corn, and have a pig house nearby your camp. That will eventually turn into a werewolf, betray you, and destroy everything you hold near and dear. That is basically what Sesame Street is all about in a nutshell. I think I've got plenty of time to go over to the uh, <laughs> Big King's Lair and uh, try to trade away some of these extra goodies, get some more gold nuggets, come on back to the campsite, and uh, call that a day, man. Call that a day full of progress and insanity. More like insanity. Jeremy Lynn, everybody. Come on, get those... Get those uh, New New York Knicks rally caps in the chat, or AKA YouTube comment section. That's all I want to see. Every comment in this episode of Don't Starve should be about the New York Knicks, more specifically about the uh, the front office of the New York Knicks NBA base baseball basketball association team. NBA Basketball Association team, the National Basketball Association Basketball Association team. I've done a really great job of not understanding acronyms this time around. <laughs> Don't start. That's been my uh, my goal thus far, and I have been succeeding. All right, traded away some melty marbles. We've got gourds not somewhere in here. There you are. My God, I forgot about this horrifying spider collection up here. My goodness. Do I ever want to deal with that at some point? I wonder if they'll attack the pig king. That'd be kind of hilarious. I uh, don't have a torch. I do have one torch, but it is uh, dangerously low on fuel. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, skirmy on back over to the campsite before we have to deal with this problem. I'm pretty close. Let's see. If I uh, just cut all my way through the forest here, I should probably just equip this thing and then hopefully be able to build another one. I can build a... Uh, right, you know what? This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do right now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, please, please, find somewhere to put it down! Find somewhere to put it down! God damn it! What happened? No! No! Please find somewhere to put the fire pit! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. Oh no. That is... That is quintessential bear taffy, don't starve. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, luckily, all you can do about it is comment about the New York Knicks front office, so I'm saved from the, uh, from the vitriol of, uh, advice that can help me in the later stages. But, what does this mean for the future? It does mean that now, we survived 46 days and, uh, ended in spectacular failure, but our future of Don't Starve the series includes Reign of Giants DLC, so it looks like we're gonna be starting up a new game here and, uh, doing some of that. So look forward to that. Don't starve, Reign of Giants. Coming up here on the uh, the Bright Taffy YouTube channel. See you then.